Let's get into it. One, two, three. Well, hello, hello, and welcome to your weekend whiskey date with your host, Pat Patrick and Cassell Ekum. Is that how you pronounce that? I think that's how you pronounce that. But we're here with some exciting whiskey news this evening. Of course, it's Friday. It's been a long week. So I may have already uh, sipped on one or two of these just to have a little taste. So it's good oh. seeing everyone out in the chat. Thank you for stopping out early on this little impromptu event. And uh, you know what? I think let, let's kick it over to Mike because we're going to talk about some events that are coming up here in the next couple of weeks. Mm. Well, I do that. I'm going to have a sip of our first uh, our first pour. Okay, well, fine. Then we're going to talk about that for a second. Let's turn let's turn some barrels around here. We're going yeah. with the Pete Monster Ooh, Arcana. Yeah. Um, so small that, craft distillery. Very small, <laughs> tiny, limited numbers within the thousands. Yes. Thousands. But uh, I think we're, we're going to do some Pete tonight as we do some other stuff because we have these sitting aside, and I wanted to get back to them. Um, so this is unique because they take normal peat monster and then they put it in uh, French oak casks afterwards mm. to let it further mature. And I know Mike has, uh, what, what are the details on this thing? Yeah, I, I, I pulled up the spec sheet from Compass Box, which God love Compass Box. I love how they do that. I love how they thumb their nose to the, to the Scotch Whiskey Association. <laughs> They're just great. I, I I just I absolutely just love it. Uh, but the the breakdown of this one is uh, it is seventy two point nine percent Talisker with in a refill hogshead. Um, it is six point nine percent Ardbeg in a recharred barrel. It is nine point six percent of the Peat Monster at cask strength. That's a refill in a custom French oak barrel with a heavy toast, mm -hmm. and then ten point six percent Milton <laughs> Duff in a first fill bourbon barrel okay now at what we're drinking is technically a titch different and who would have ever thought that maybe it's maybe i don't know maybe it's a different release it uh the talisker is 71 4 the uh, milton duff is 10.4 the peat monster blended malt whiskey is 9.4 the artberg distillery is 6 7 and the Highland Malt Blend is 2.1. So, huh. I feel like I've been lied to. Yeah. Or is this bottle special? I think maybe you maybe you got a special bottle. And if you can't tell, I'm gonna try to get close to see if it will refocus. The actual artwork on this is badass. It's yes. gold tinted and reflective. Um they have they always have fantastic artwork, but uh very very nice so oh that's beautiful. that's pretty on the nose okay now, oh yes it is now let's not let's not get off topic too much who's coming yes. up next? what's the next most exciting thing we have going on on the show i want to lean but well boxes are so small <laughs> just bob and weave <laughs> well this this monday we have uh we have uh the the awesome brian cushing on from the Victorian bar room. He, he's Brian's been doing uh, reenactments and also practicing uh, recreating old, old uh, cocktails from the 1800s for, for quite a while. Uh, but he started the Victorian bar room YouTube channel uh, and he's starting to get that going. So we're going to make a couple of cocktails with him. Old school style. Yeah. The Manhattan cocktail. These are, these are also up on the Facebook page. So if you need to go buy these things so we can make them with him. Um, he also does like when he does it, he'll do some of the um, techniques that they might have used. I mean, I know that sounds weird. You yep. put it in a glass, you shake it up, but they might've done things differently as far as how they rim the glass or how they um, like the way that they did a pour. And I remember he did a cocktail a couple episodes ago and he's like, they used to do it this way, which is totally and, and 
he was showing it and he's like, here's the difference and why it's like, that's really, but really interesting, but they were dealing with slightly different spirits. Um, and, uh, but anyway, Brian, uh, Brian is a really cool dude. He's going to make these really cool cocktails. So if you need some of these, um, please go out and go get them and play along with us Monday. Cause it's going to be uh, a fun and a fun history lesson with him. Um, uh, he's a pretty knowledgeable dude. And, uh, yeah, as Tim, Tim says, a very nice chap. Yes, he is. So it should be a good time. Yeah. And he, we always appreciate, we appreciate history on this channel. It's kind of something I think that ties each a little one of us together, um, as, as far as looking at stuff. So it, it's basically just like one of those people that went a little bit further, you know, is, is, is I don't want to say a little bit nerdier, but so I probably, I probably was unwilling to do something like that or nervous or afraid to, you know, to go do that. And I think now I would probably maybe help doing a reenactment or something like that. Cause I always yeah. went and saw stuff like that. And it was always interesting to see how something <laughs> happened from a long time ago, you know, um, when, you were uh, one of those people at the, at the Ren fear yelling at him <laughs> nerds. <laughs> No, no, I, maybe, maybe one. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I mean, it, 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 it's a really neat to meet someone who has that much background um, in the field and knowledge about the area and time. And like, like you said, it's, it's kind of like the basis of where some cocktails came to be, you know? So the, yeah. the, right at the time frame when people started to get a little more inventive with what they were doing. So it'll be neat to see what he's doing because a lot of it's like, right on the cusp of uniqueness and I don't know, it's, it's a whole, it's a whole different Avenue that a lot of people haven't stepped into yet. So, yeah. Boy, this, this peat monster is, it's a lot fruitier on the nose than what I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought too. Uh, I didn't want to give it away. I really liked this when I first had it. Um, I'm liking the nose a lot and there's a, there's a chocolate note to it too. Mm-hmm. I, I like it. It's like a. It's more of a milk chocolate, though. I was gonna say milk chocolate, but then you get like the citrus notes kind of rolling up from underneath. Yeah. Which is like a lemon, orange, even maybe like a little bit of grapefruity. There's, There's several yeah. of them. Mm. Hey, Nathan, good to see you in the chat. And the, it's a, it's a little cinnamon, cinnamon, but it's not like straight up cinnamon it's like cinnamon on something like cinnamon on a snickerdoodle cookie because there's like a sweetness to the cinnamon and there's a little a little tartness to it i like this i like kind of like the um uh what's the stuff uh cream of cream of tartar that you put on there see when you're talking the cinnamon and, and the baked uh baked good there i was going to like uh oh my god when you call those stupid things at the fair that you fry and you put powdered sugar and stuff on. Um, oh, funnel cakes. Funnel cake. Like a funnel cake with like cinnamon on top of it. State fairs are going to be hopping this year too. Oh, they're going to be all over it. And I'm, getting, like, I'm getting a pear note kind of through a lot. Yeah, I get that with the fruitiness. Very nice. Yeah, on the nose, it, it's it's exciting because on the nose to me, it almost is more, it's bright and friendly like a wine almost more so than it seems like a whiskey at 46%. <laughs> Mark in Canada just popped in. I'm not <laughs> sure what Mark is. Does he know this? I don't know, but since yeah, I just showed this to yeah. Pat. I'm gonna, I know I'm that's doing exactly it. what I'm talking I'm doing about. It. Wait, I'm wait, gonna I'm, do I'm gonna blow you up on big screen because that's just oh, freaky God. weird. Let's just freak everybody out. Yeah. Uh, doing a doing a tasting coming up. It's two part tasting, and uh, one of the companies, the distilleries participating, sent their stuff out separately from everybody else. And it is uh, Golden Beaver Distillery sent this nice little bag with their samples in it, but there's a side B. <laughs> I have no idea what I will use this bag for after the fact, but it's kind of cool. So it, it was just just weird that you jumped in with beaver tails. I was like, oh, that's uh, right on point there, sir. Yeah. Mm, okay. I just had a sip. And it has just a, a really light, friendly burn to it. 
as far as like an alcohol burn, it is a lot of people wouldn't say it's there. That's the only like, I, I don't know, I won't say negative, but that's the only like little note that's there that's not all fruit and fun and flavors. Yeah, it's got a, it, there's a nice buttery custard mouthfeel to it. Um, the name is really, and that, that which, you know, having had Pete Monster before, it's not a monster. Mm -mm. it's not i mean it's a uh, it's a friendly monster <laughs> it's like a you know a monster from a children's book so the name is the name is just a it's a little off but um this is a really really nice nice whiskey and i'm saying on the second third if not a little bit earlier you can start getting some of that french oak influence coming mm -hmm. on and rolling into it at that point um he even gets a little bit, it has a nice little drying effect for me on the finish. Maybe I need to just drink more. Maybe I'm dehydrated or I need to have a couple more drinks, but uh, I'm getting kind of a drying note on the sides of the tongue at the moment. Mm. <coughs> mm. <laughs> Whatever. It's a Friday show. Way to go, Mark. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, that's, a, that's if you're in Canada, folks. You Canadians. Damn Canadians. <laughs> we got to get that border opened up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I get that road trip planned. Ooh. Going back on a bigger drink in that creaminess, I got a little bit of chocolate. And then I also, on this, uh, halfway through this time, as I opened my mouth more, so I got a little more of a peppery note. Uh, white pepper, I would say, kind of popped up a little bit more, so... Ooh. Hey, Mike, how's it going? Water. Um, hey, Mr. Cisneros. Um, the water really uh, subdued everything. Put a little bit, a little bit of water with it. Um, Cause it, 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 that's, I mean, it's a, it's a much friendlier whiskey than the name implies. Oh I would give God. it to somebody and then say, by the way, it's called Pete monster. Because if you, especially someone who is iffy on scotch, hi, I'd like for you to try Pete Monster. <laughs> like, no, I, yeah, I can't do that. Would be horrified. This is probably one of the friendlier PD whiskeys. That's oh yeah, there. I'd say especially in this finish, the the nose on it is incredibly friendly. I don't know. I think it's, yes. I just really I think the nose is exciting. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot. I really like that chocolate note on the nose. And then that the custard on the palate. It's very it's it's um Hold on here. it's very nice i, I like I that handle, quite a bit I can, I can handle this i can handle smelling like that i'll see if this works. are you what are you trying to do <laughs> give yourself new, some cologne my, my new cologne a little <laughs> arcana for this evening and, it, and you know what it smells damn delicious and if you hit the right crowd you're in <laughs> there we all over your neck <laughs> mm. but i don't know I'm going to go back for one more taste on this, see if there's anything that jumps out, and then we'll uh, we'll move on to one more peated whiskey we have. Yeah, Just, uh, another Scotch. Delaney week of peat, and we have one more announcement right when we get to that. Well, take it yes. <laughs> Once again, just... Mm, if you know compass box everything is typically really really well done i don't know if i've had one i dislike from them uh very well blended they always feel like uh even though they didn't hear they use elevage everything is married together very well that is the hallmark of compass box if no matter what they're trying to accomplish yeah and and i'm really excited because i um uh the asyla is going to be coming back out again soon and that was always one of my favorites. And they had to stop making it because they didn't have the stocks to, to blend it. But that was that was one the, the first scotch. I'm like, this is a summer scotch. Uh -huh. It it drinks like white wine because <laughs> it is. I mean, no, but I mean, I know, as I know. friendly as this is, it still has that that peat. But that asyla yeah. drinks like like white wine. It's like you could drink that, which I have when it's 100 degrees and humid outside, and it feels nice. It feels really nice. And so I've been sitting on uh, sitting on unopened bottles of of Asyla, uh, hoping that it come back. So now that it's back, I can I can crack those open for the summer. Compass box is just 
good stuff. And I, I, again, I just, I love how he screws with the Scotch Whiskey Association. I love that. And it's when people ask me if they're going to try to get something like for a special occasion, it's one of the ones that I say you're fairly safe. If you're going to even spend like a hundred to $150 on something for someone, typically you've found something that's usually pretty good with that compared to other times. Yeah. Sometimes there's a big gamble. Uh, I feel like they, they usually pay off their price point for most things. I mean, I have got to taste some things I shouldn't have. It was like that Tobias and the angel, but I'm never getting that bottle. <gasps> Thanks, Jeff. Just well, thank you for that one. Which was glorious. It was. It was really, really good. Well, even just the you know so-called lower end of Compass Box, the 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 artist blend. Um, yeah. Those are God. Those are those are great, and they've been doing uh, barrel picks at now. I don't really call it barrel pick, but a store pick of those. Um, and those are they're really nice, extremely reasonably priced. Yeah, it just it, the thirty to forty dollar range. Yeah, for, it's just. Really, really good stuff. My favorite one, which I, I'm never going to get because it, it's too much money, but they're just because it's the one that's the it was the biggest screw you was their their three year old because they because it, it's a uh, it's called the three year old because you know the the one they don't like that he was trying to list everything on on all the the bottles or tell you on the website, but two because their whole thing about the the age statement so it's like this vat of thirty you know thirty and uh, over whiskey. And then they put like 0.8% of a three-year-old scotch in there with it. So they call it three-year-old, but it's like 350 bucks a bottle. <laughs> but it's just it's just another screw you. It's like, fine, I'm going to call it the three-year-old, even though it is 99.4% 30-plus-year-old whiskey. <laughs> so up yours. Well, I mean, when, you know what I like? I like the resolve of that because not everyone yeah. has, has the tenacity or what, how was that put in young guns? Enough grit to finish the last round, and they, they seem to they seem to be like you know throwing a jab almost all the time, which is fantastic. All right, all right, okay. nice pick, Dave. I like that. Yeah, one. I got a bottle of that coming. All right, and the next thing I want to tell everyone out there is something we're excited about um, is on July thirtieth. We are going to be having Fred Swanson back on from Dancing Goat Distillery. And you see two bottles on the screen right now. One, Limousine Rye, and two, Destor Gin, which is one that they uh, brand that they revived. That was one of the one of the biggest brands in gin at one at one point in the last, like, I think it was 15 years, 20 years. Um, <laughs> it was very impressive. So what we're going to be doing is if you want to, Drink cocktails with us that evening because it's going to be a cocktail show. It's a Friday night. It's early. It's a 6 o'clock show. So you're going to want to get there early for that. Um, and it's going to get you ready for the weekend, which is what it should do. So you'll get your chance to get one 100-milliliter bottle of each of those. So you can make probably two drinks, maybe more, depending upon how heavy you pour. Or for some of us, that might just be one drink. I don't know how you guys do it, whatever you want to do. Um, but we'll post what we're going to actually be drinking for cocktails that night. And you can drink along with us. Or if you already have access and have those bottles at home, you can drink with us anyways. So if you want yeah. to be involved in something like that, um, get a hold of us in our emails. It will be... Something very similar to a lot of other th the, the last thing we did where, I think, let's just say, including muling, maybe like $30 would be uh, with yeah. muling expenses. Eight, eight, eight ounces of spirits muled to your door for 30 bucks. So, it's a, can, you pull, can you pull that picture back up again? I can't. I got to say something. Back up. Oh, you're going to have Yeah. Yeah. You're getting excited. Look at that handsome son of a bitch right there. Look at <laughs> And then, and also, but those, yeah, those two is that death's door, uh, number two gin in London for a couple of years. And it was out of Wisconsin and it, you know, people who've watched this for a while, we are not gin people. <laughs> we, we have issues <laughs> with, with gin. <laughs> and I, and I think, I think I heard, heard, uh, Tim say that he has it the same way, but that gin is really good. <laughs> it's very, very easy to drink on its own. And the last time we had Fred with those cocktails, those cocktails were 
awfully tasty Ooh. and uh and we had a really good time with them um and limousine rye is limousine rye is a fine rye and if you have which i will be doing uh i'm gonna do double duty with mine i've got normal and cast strength limousine rye so i'm gonna i'm gonna be doubling up those so um yeah and uh dina talked about the gym lab yeah we are because we we're now that things are opening back up we are hoping to to do something about that um the uh the dancing goat gym lab we hope we shall see it's, a, but, it's a, um, an exciting prospect for everybody uh, especially if you like yes. the gym. um but i mean it's it's, it's we'll let him do it but we'll let him explain it uh but uh, yeah yes we will not do it justice but yeah fred fred's a good time a nice guy man they've got good spirits and if you are not a gin person the death's door yeah, and if you can't get it around you, you know, uh, that's a good way to get it is to uh, to do the use the meal train. Good. Emily found it in Florida. Look at that. Nice. Nice job. Sneaky. Sneaky. And for just and just for three ingredients, uh, I thought I, I liked what they got out of it for just the three ingredients. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Uh, done done properly and not uh, as I like to say, does not smell or taste like your great aunt's perfume at a funeral. Um, and, and it is, uh, it is pleasant. It is easy to drink on its own, on its own. And it did not destroy the, the cocktails. So, uh, yeah, that death store was pretty good stuff. Yep. So, uh, get, get a hold of us in emails or however you would typically do so. And we will take care of that for you. Uh, just because we always want to give you a chance to experience what we're experiencing. Um, and mm -hmm. we'll be talking about some other stuff they're doing at dancing goat when they come on what the hell was that man why get off i don't know you've had too much to drink you're blurry had, oh shit i did have it <laughs> i mean we have had a, a little bit too much to drink <laughs> hold on I'm, i'll be back in a second i don't like that it, you make everybody think they got one of them cadillacs in their right eye all right now that he's gone thank god anyway yeah uh monday it's, it's a lot of cocktails coming up and hopefully we're gonna have uh miss heather back on again to do more cocktails with her uh because that that obviously was a lot of fun um and those uh cocktails that she had were very well received uh fred's i'm sure will be the same we'd like to do more like that where we can get things in your hands that uh, that you cannot get locally um uh, dancing goat does seem to have pretty decent distribution um but it's like around me, it's iffy. There's like a there's two lines that almost don't get crossed in in Missouri for uh, for getting dancing goat stuff. Um, but luckily, uh, <laughs> nice scroll bar. Um, luckily, yeah, like Emily was able to to get that. Good for you, because uh, that yeah that is pretty good gin. Um, nice a nice American made gin that uh, I'll say it doesn't taste like ass because <laughs> unfortunately there's a lot of them that just do. It, it tastes like licking that pine tree uh, yeah. fresher yeah. when you're in an old Buick that your you your parents or your grandma used yeah. to have. It's like you, hey, we got there. we got we got 14, 14 herbs in here, you know, or botanicals. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna add nine more because why not? Yeah. <laughs> it's like here's why, because it sucks. Because <laughs> it's it's too much. It's too much. You're oh, overloading yeah. the palate. Awesome. Bubble Bass says he likes cocktails. We just got done uh, mentioning how we'll be doing uh, this one on July 30th, and you want to be involved, just get us an email. We'll put the link down below later. And, uh, yes. and also, Brian Cushing's coming on on Monday. So to finish the holiday weekend, um, we're going to have a couple drinks with him and just talk about what's going on. Let's see here. All right. I think, wait, All right. what else we... We have, I, what, we have another whiskey to nose out here. Do we? We have. But I know we got some other shows coming up. I got John on here. You know what date he's coming up? Uh, John Wadel is just, just really in like two it. weeks. I, I love the graphic. The nineteenth. John Wadel is on, on the nineteenth. Mike did a fantastic job on this. <laughs> I love that. Makes me feel uh, like so. That. Yeah, it's it not very not only Johnny that. Deppish there. Uh, yeah, it's it's pimp as hell. Uh, <laughs> He, uh, not only is, it, is we're going to have uh, Peerless to talk about, we're hoping by then, because he and, uh, and a friend of ours, Corey, have been working for, geez, like a couple years, I think, on, um, on a coffee company, uh, barrel aging beans in Peerless barrels. 
yeah. and some other ones. And, but it's, it's, it's like a single barrel, single barrel aging. So, um, we're hoping to have that too. So we can have some, uh, some barrel aged coffee because and that'd be something well, yeah. a lot of you can get because they could probably, yeah. probably ship that to wherever at that point. So yeah, that kind of comes along, ship. there'll be some excitement with what they're doing there. You know what? Yeah. We, may, the only, we may have to have a coffee show at some point. That's you know? true. Yeah. Like a 6 a.m. show. Oof. That's not going to happen. Uh, but the only, yeah, the only other one that we have on the, uh, on the calendar with an evening with, uh, is, uh, Miss Marianne Eves in the beginning of August, yeah, that's too which, far. um, we don't have the mock-up of yet. Eh, it's over a month, but yeah. looking back at our shows, if I'm correct, this coming Monday night with, uh, with Brian Cushing is our 50th and evening with show. Ah, well, very interesting. I know. I know. Kind of throwing some extra ones in there here or there, but that's uh, so in a couple more. What do we do? What is it? Uh, God damn. Well, now I gotta look at the calendar. You, you've got yeah. me excited. So the 19th, who's it? Is anyone on the 19th of July? Of July, yeah, John Waddle. John Waddle. So, John would be our like our hypothetical one year. I know we've done shows kind of more bunched together, yeah, at points, but. We should give some away. Two years. Two years. Yeah, we should give some away. We should. We, You know what? We do have stuff to give away, which I'll bring up. But one thing I do want to, uh, uh, Mr. Tingley brought up Crowded Barrels Gin. I believe that that was the whole point, too, because they were not cool on, on some of the, some of those gin. I mean, there's, you know, there's a, there's a like local a place. There's a local distillery to me that is, their gin is the official gin of, of, of a sports team. It is, uh, like 16 botanicals. Now, if you're, if you're, a uh, into gin, you're into that stuff, that maybe that's your thing and maybe that's it. But for people who are not gin people, <laughs> um, it, it ain't it. Cause there's, there's also another, uh, a local distillery to us that they, they got, uh, the the uh, the gin man Tom Nickel to come out of retirement and work on work on theirs and uh, it's a damn good gin you could sip that stuff straight I mean it's if you do like gin or you're not a gin person it's very nice and drinkable um, and these are again not gin people <laughs> saying that they that they liked it and it it did just fine in a cocktail or on its own hold on here now two things Emily excellent. That's what I'm talking about. See, that's why yeah. she's that's why she's out there with that wrench. That's why she's that's why she's there. The mistress is out there. Yeah. Bro, and yeah, Tim, bro, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a another cigar show coming up. So so giveaways we do have from our ginger overlords. Yes. We and do we've been have holding for a little bit, I guess. So we've been, we've got I've been I've been hanging on to this uh, two things from them since uh well since I was down there in March. Um, I've got a bottle of iron root. Um, that we could do, we could do that as, as a, as a giveaway. Um, but you know, laws being what they are, clearly we can't ship it, but we know people that we can hand it to that. It will make it show up. We can, we can wherever you're at. We can designate a winner, can't we? Oh, we can designate a winner and then we can contact someone and yeah. make it. Make yeah. it work. We'll just make it happen so yeah we've got a we've got an iron root tasting glass and a bottle of iron actually i'll grab the uh iron root. Yeah. which one is it i'm, I'm thinking pardon, it's pardon, hard my, to pardon my frame um if i had if i could move it to the too. left if i could move this to the left just a little bit oh uh, don't you don't want to do that uh, i'm feeling a bit you don't want any part of that a little bit here hold on Ooh. There we go. Yeah, the winner can be a Canuck. And you know what? Uh, oh, it's got a bottle Icarus. of. Yeah, we got a bottle of Icarus 2020. Shit, I want to play. <laughs> You're not allowed to play. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a nice giveaway bottle. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that on the 19th if that's our. Uh, yeah. Our time frame on that. I like that. I like that. Ooh, now, Mark, Mark, if you win, uh, I'll I'll bring it up to you. Yeah, it'll make we'll make it work. You know, 
Oh yeah, yeah. All right, I'm I'm gonna get into this Balvini a little bit. Oh, look at that neat little glass you got. What? You oh my! Like, your hands look like Andre the Giant with that little glass. <laughs> you know what they say about guys with big hands, big yeah. gloves. They, if they don't fit, you have to acquit. <laughs> well, <laughs> too soon, Pat. <laughs> Oh, okay. This Boy, is a this little bit is... darker, but not not incredibly as much as you. Yeah. Mm. It's, it almost smells like an unsalty talisker to me. It's floral and it's very floral, butterscotch and honey. Ooh. But it's the 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 other flavors are more, um, are more, I'll say, overwhelming than the peat on this. By far, that caramelly note is really huge. But it's got like this honeycomb mixed with it, and then I'm getting like a yeah, peach, I like the honeycomb. Like a peach That's a good, maybe? good one. Yeah, definitely peach. It's weird. It you know, at one hand it's like. Is that a little? Is that a little uh, grapefruit? But then sometimes it's like there's like a hint of lime, <laughs> and it's weird. Yeah, I'll give you that. I, I oh, wow, I was really in there. This isn't that. It's only no, oh, it's forty eight point three. So I guess it's a little heavier than what I thought it was yeah. going to be. Apricot. Hmm. In the middle, hidden. This is it's it's this is another one that is very nicely layered yeah, over each other. I haven't even gotten to taste it, and you can already tell by the way the layers kind of start going down, and you have to you have to dig through it to find things. But even on the nose, it's married really well together. Mm. It's a little more kick than I was expecting from the than from the nose. Yeah, that it's got a that fruitiness, and then just like a just a really nice ash. <laughs> yeah, like medium level too. Maybe that's this is this is the, the fourteen year the fourteen year we compete, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, there's just yeah fruitiness, and then there's just yeah middle. It's like just dry, ashy, and then. And then almost, more, the more citrus and honey on the on the back end. On the sides, it's almost like I got like the barrel stave rubbed on the side of my tongue. Like it's got like leftover char there, and the top of my tongue is more more fruit flavors and stuff. Mm. <laughs> it's kind of it's it's a little creamy too. Quite a bit. It has a little bit of heat, but I'm not going to, I can't pick the type of pepper it is. It's a very light, I would say white, but it's, yes, it's I would agree there with that. for like a, a little bit. Wow. Sorry. It's, it's it ground up. It almost feels like something you would put on a steak, but there, I'm not getting the quite the meaty flavor off of it. You know, like the salt is there and then it's not. I'm missing what it's hitting. I'm trying to figure out what type of it. It's like a vegetable, <laughs> and it's not meat. But this is something. Yeah, I haven't. It's like when lot. it's like when you take grandma to, to to Olive Garden, and she won't let him stop with the pepper mill. <laughs> <laughs> you try to break in there, and you're like, "Hey, stop!" And she's like, "No, no." <laughs> Okay, so between because both of these came from you, butterscotch. Between these two, yeah, uh, you would be. It'd be a lot easier because I I know where I can get the week of Pete. Mm -hmm. I know where I can get a couple of them, including the fourteen, locally. 
but peat monster arcana you're not going to find that really <laughs> anywhere it was in a shelf yeah it was it was in a yeah. place but price wise not not terrible for what it was you know pretty much knowing you were going to get something that was good like i said that's it's mm -hmm. that's nice to have so what was the question I thought you were going someplace with which one was easier to get or something. Oh yeah, no, I mean I, I think because I I know I could I know I could find the the week of Pete pretty easily locally, which you know we're this side of the state there aren't as many places because we don't we don't have a total wine on our side of the state, and you know we've we've got some uh, and we wait, won't wait, ever. Wait, my wait, my understanding wait. is we won't. Is your um, side of the state like just a little line that goes through Kansas City, which I mean, or is it? Which state are you talking about? Well, there is a road there's called State Line Road that does divide the two states, and it's it's four blocks that way. <laughs> so, um, but on on my side of the state of Missouri, um, yeah, we're we're not going to get a total wine, and and we're not going to get some of those. But there's um, there's more. Well, mm. it depends on where you go. We we just like our selection of things is not as thick as you would think that it would be. But I can go to St. Louis and um, find all kinds of stuff. Mm. Tim, that's an excellent. I missed that and good point. You said cardamom. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got a portion of earthiness in it that I was not. I mean, I was getting, but I, I was kind of glossing over, I guess, there. But that was an excellent point. Nice job, nice job Tim. Thank you. Oh, Emily's out there. Oh, Jesus. What happened? Was I not watching the chat? Like who did something? I <laughs> I don't know. What'd you do? I don't know. I don't know what I did. But which one? Which one do you like better right now? Because mm. that's the big question right now. Which one of these little mini? I, I'm gonna call them mini specialties of uh, of Pete releases. Do you do you like better? Um, that's a kind of a trick question, I think. No, it's not. Um, There's one that you like. More. Well, come on. come on, someone's got to lose. We're gonna have to start getting a little. Vague I I here. just lost. I was using my straw to dip dump and just I dumped. Yeah, I dumped. Uh, went to do the dump with the straw. <laughs> Apparently, didn't have it sealed very well, so it just I got a nice slobber trail. Looks like a. It's like an old man eating soup. <laughs> it's got a trail of it. <laughs> it's an angry man at a deli. Um, yeah. yeah. The sea was angry, my friends. Um, you know, that that's, that's a really good question. I, I do think um, I would have to give the nod to the peat monster. Um, just because that other... I like the, I like the overall flavor and the mouthfeel to it. I like the the dry ashy that comes in on the on the Balvenny. I do like that. But if I had to choose which experience that I would want over the other one, I would say the Peat Monster. Yeah, I'm but agree. knowing what I know about the two of these, and I know that if I was going to go and spend the money, I could I could go get Week of Peat. I, I know three places I can go get week of Pete <laughs> right now and different ones. I mean, they might not all 14. It could be one from a couple of years ago, yeah. um, and, but and a good choice too, I would think. You know? Yeah. But yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to lean that way. It just, it, when you're thinking Pete, I was going to say the week of Pete was more in line with your, what you would be typically expecting. Yes. Um, but the peat monster arcana is, and, and we should have done this one earlier, but you know what, too, there's buying a bottle. So we get to them and we get to them. So if you find one of these, I would get one just because of the, the effervescence and the different amount of citrus flavors and stuff going on. It is a really fun one. I would even say if you could find it now, I would drink this in the middle of the day. This is a really nice, bright, fun thing. I would. I'd like, start my day with it. Damn right. Let me take this back. It is now a breakfast whiskey. That's right. It's, Screw it's your like TPS reports. Whiskey. I'm having some scotch. <laughs> oh, when I had a job, you could do that. That was nice. Uh, 
What are you doing? I am doing a blend of the two of them. We're having a we're having a tasting, and it's classy. That's right. <laughs> Does one of the customers want in on this? <laughs> All right, here. The blend of the two is it's Ooh. a nice marriage on the nose. I went light on the on the peat monster on it comparatively. So, uh, uh, yeah, bu uh, bubble bath. There's um, well, a friend of ours had done a recipe on uh, um, biscuits and gravy, and he used uh, Lafroig in the gravy. I have not tried that yet, but everything points to really good choice. <laughs> yes. Oh, and John, thanks for noticing. No one, you know, we got to get some donations. Hmm. That's, that's how that works. I would like to get out of the closet. Maybe. Wrong show, man. Maybe you got comfortable in here. Okay, the marriage of the two of those is... is it's really nice. The ashiness is still there, but it's not, it's not the dry. It, it doesn't dry you. I like it, but like I said, I think I went heavy on the Belvini. I think maybe if this was a 70 Pete Monster 30 Belvini, I think this might be pretty exciting at that point. Here's what I'll say. I've had, I do. I like this blend of the two of them. It's very nice. If I had a bottle of each of these, I probably wouldn't do this <laughs> because, <laughs> like, because it's like you. Know, there's uh, yeah, not much. I I mean, I'd probably do it a couple times, but I I wouldn't do it much. But that's a that's a nice blend between the two of them. I didn't get a hold of John Glazer and tell him what's up. Hmm. I think well, if, if we're talking craft, I'd say he, he they do a wonderful job at the craft mm -hmm. of blending. I mean, one of the people that made it stand Damn out right. something being useful again, not just kind of like look down on. Um, well, and, and the you know the 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 way in in which he's done it and why because of his, um, as he said, he was watching these beautiful old whiskeys just get thrown into Johnny Walker. <laughs> he's like, hey, <laughs> we could be doing something much better with these. <laughs> and God love him for bringing those whiskeys up to oh, to yeah. people's knowledge. Okay, so I'm, I just I just even this out of hold on here. Hmm. See, ooh, damn. It gets a. Uh, I was trying to bring it up. I'm probably more like at sixty forty, and I was saying seventy thirty. I'm gonna go like eighty twenty, but I'm getting like a neat leather note in it now. Eighty like, twenty Pete Monster. Eighty twenty Pete Monster. All right, I'll try that one too. We're still under an hour. Yeah. Fuck it. It's Friday. What else are you going to do? I don't have a water, so I'm just drinking every time I need something to drink right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're hydrating with distilled water. Mm -hmm. It's making my lips get tart. But no. <laughs> you could put this in your CPAP at night. <laughs> I wouldn't do this, but we have joked about doing this to one one of our friends who's got one. He'll bring it. He'll bring a CPAP camping. It's like, oh man, just to just to throw about two shots of vodka in there. Because <laughs> he, he well, he did. He he he's got this thing where he's like, which and he you know he he needed the CPAP for a lot of reasons, but and you know I'm glad glad that he's got it and everything, but. He brags a little bit because of how good he sleeps and how good he feels from wearing the CPAP. He'll, he'll, you know, he's, he's not an alcoholic. He's not, doesn't, you know, doesn't constantly get drunk, but if he does have a, a little bit too much, he doesn't have a problem the next day. Cause he's like, I'm telling you the CPAP just clears everything out and you feel great the next day. So, so like, okay, we're going to see just how well <laughs> you feel one of these days if we throw a couple shots of vodka in your CPAP. <laughs> Does it, doesn't that make it vapor? I think you yeah. only might need like one yeah. shot. So it's like, yeah, so it's like a main line just straight in. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I just thought a little bit of that, like pulling and, off and getting And I'll off tell you, so we, we, we went fishing. Speaking of the, the, those damn machines, I was sleeping next to him. We went fishing about a month ago, 
and I was I was just having an awful time sleeping, but uh, he woke me up and I was listening to this noise and I'm like, what in the hell is this noise? And it sounded like if you've ever, you know, if you watch movies or whatever, when they've got like, you know, the mopeds running in Vietnam, <laughs> that's what this noise was. And it was, and it was just, <clears throat> and then, but then it was revving. It was going, <clears throat> <clears throat> and it kept doing, and it went on and on. And, and then it, you know, quit for a while and started back up again. It was him breathing because <laughs> apparently, apparently the CPAP got knocked off a little bit and his mouth was open. So, yeah. So, so I got this Vietnamese rickshaw <laughs> moped going on next to me in the night and I could, I could not sleep. And then he quit, you know, so I'm awake and I'm like, so then the next day he was, you know, Oh yeah, I feel great. Like, well here I, luckily I had recorded it. <laughs> I was like, well, this is what I was listening to last night <laughs> with your, <laughs> but it sounded, it sounded just like a damn, a damn uh, moped. God. Is this is this one of the friends I met? No, no. Yeah, because I would pour I would pour vodka in his in his. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would do that to man, and, and he knows, uh, and he would appreciate that from me. <laughs> he doesn't wear one. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Whew. All right. It's just getting a little warm as it's going on. I can feel it like right in here, kind of heating up a bit. I've had a couple of these, but uh, hey, I think we're good. We're only doing two, and uh, we got to get people ready for the 4th of July this weekend. Mm -hmm. Big things. Go see some fireworks. Enjoy yourself. You know. Uh, spend okay, I like that 80-20. Yeah, I thought so. Roughly, or I'm, I'm, I might be 75-25 yeah, blend on that too, but yeah, that's pretty nice. So what I, bit, I'm curious, a little bit lighter or not? Would you go? Yeah, it's a, it? it's a little uh, it's um, well overall everything it's it's there's more of the lightness, butteriness, fruitness, the fruitness, <laughs> the fruitness. Um, <laughs> there's that, and just a little bit of that ash, uh, but then it's 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 buttery and custardy at the end on there. I, I like that. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So this this weekend, Fourth of July, you know, since we are celebrating the, uh, our, our nation's independence, I'm planning on only, only having American spirits on Sunday. What what are you What are you planning on? Uh, you got anything in particular you're having? Ooh, um, what is the lineup of things I'm gonna do on Sunday? I'll probably have <clears throat> some Maddie Gladden at one point mm -hmm. during the day. I'll have a little bit of my Rua port cask that I have. Those are hidden in there. Um, hmm. Probably some Woodhead, a little Cole Keegan. I'm running low on that, though. Might need to make a trip to Santa Fe soon. Um, I am, I'm low on Cole Keegan as well. I'm, I got a little excited uh, with some of that. Um, I'm actually probably going to, I'm probably going to delve back into some stumpy stuff because I did have some of what you had. There's a, there's a section of, uh, samples. I'm probably going to hit up seven or eight of them throughout the day. Just trying to get a little caught up on stuff. We're going to get an idea for what's popping out. Um, and there's two, uh, you know, you kind of want to get an idea, and then there's some you want to have like live just for the actual reaction, even though you're concerned it's going to be horrific. You know, I was like, do I want to see where this is going so I can ask questions beforehand and kind of get an idea of stuff, or do I just want to jump into it and be like, whoa, this is a shit show, like I thought it was going to be. So uh, there's two of those in the stack I can see for sure, and I don't know. They're they're tempting me. They're tempting me. People in the chat, do you do you drink something that is you could worry about being terrible, or do I save it for the show to have like a legit first reaction if I'm concerned it's going to be bad? Because I am nervous. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've got we've got stuff that we've we've given each other. That's I mean, typically we don't review scotches. We'll do it for things like this or the sample kill nights. So I mean, we got some of those that I save and. Keep them, keep them for you know for us or like a night like this that we, you know, it's kind of a kill, but we're really really reviewing it. But I'm planning on I've got a uh, just because it's got Fourth of July, I got a, a, a 
a bottle of MGP sourced. They did a whole series and they had like the, the, the Senator and um, what they have. They had the, uh, yeah, there's like four of them. They had the Senator. And then there's a, I got the one that's called the presidential. Uh, that's a cast strength MGP pick. I'm planning on having that. Where and then, did you get this from? Uh, this one, mine, wait, wait, I got, wait, where, I mean, like what's who, where did they come from? Like the Senator and the presidential? It yeah, sounds like things you get at a strip club, Mike. I'll tell you, I, uh, I'm not I'm a just, strip club. I'm, I'm not either. I'm just uh, saying these sound like liar. something on the menu. So it's this one here. They had the president. There's the, there was the presidential. There was one called the Senator. There was one called the justice, I think. Now the ones, and they were all, all, all 2020 theme ones, but this is uh 117.6 proof, uh, four year, oh, I'm sorry, aged at least four years, but it's MGP sourced, um, mash bill of, I see if I get my bifocals to work. Uh, it looks like 75 corn, 21 rye and four malted barley. Um, anyway, from the proof and wood curated selection. Anyway, um, Save that for Fourth of July. <laughs> Save that for my my American holidays, and then. Um, but I've got some a bunch of little sample bottles. I mean, like <laughs> way too many sample bottles. I figured I'd, I'd be a time to kill some of these American ones that we've got going on. I like John. He's like keep it for the first reaction. He's like, I need to see glass smashed against the wall out of disgust. <laughs> <laughs> there might have been. There's only been one or two that have been that uh, that unique. And I still have some, just in case one of you people in the chat is me. Just to let you know, it's, it could be one of those hidden samples that shows up, and I'd want to film it to get your, get your reaction. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, oh, yeah, a little Independence Day, a little excitement this weekend. Um, remember to save a little bit for the for the 5th when we are going to be having uh, Brian Cushing on that night. Mr. Cushing. Mr. Cushing, the Victorian bar room. We're going to take it back a couple eras. Fireworks still just as exciting. But uh, I'm going to put these up there. These are some of the cocktails. Once again, they're on the Facebook page and on the Instagram page. And I'll make another post with them once again just to have them all together because Facebook hates live events and anything I try to do on it because it sucks balls, <laughs> Mr. Zuckerberg. It's weird to be on a platform and curse it out at the same time. So, <laughs> it, it does. Yeah, tell him to his face if he's here right now. I don't care. He, he, no, I wasn't talking about that. Oh, are you you got to catch up, catch up on the chat. I can't do him, boy. <laughs> well, you got to pay extra to be in the closet, Emily. That's that's just the that's way it not is. Nah, yeah, not that one either. <laughs> it's like it's not true. That's not. true. No, no, no! I'm saying you're you're still off. You're still off on your comments, but yeah, no nah, strip, uh, no strip clubs are stupid. Anyway, I don't, I don't have time to go back that far. Whatever it is, no, um, I got to go up a couple more. Maybe. Look at Allen's. <laughs> hey, you know what? Tell Kim. I hope you guys have a good day. He's, he's talking about Jolie's mom. Oh. <laughs> well, good luck with that, too. I mean, you know, hey, hey, man. You celebrate how you celebrate it. You know? It's Indiana. You do your thing. The See? land of Larry Bird and Johnny Cougar. Yeah. And the Jacksons. And the people thing. <laughs> That's right. All right. So, so celebrate like celebrate like like Daddy Joe and ignore your kids and beat the shit out of them. <laughs> Indiana way. <laughs> Give me shit. Where the fuck? Did you... <laughs> fucking car ride all of a sudden. I love it. Mm. All right. So so anyway, back to the whiskey. <laughs> back to the whiskey and why we our shows are usually only an hour. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it's Friday. It is Friday, and so let's mention, we're going to mention a couple of things. Brian's going to be on, watch the drinks. We got the thing with Dancing Go coming up on July 30th. If you want to be involved and get two 100-milliliter samples, one of Dancing Go Limo Rye and one of Death Star Gin, 
let us know, get a hold of us in our emails, um, or just get a hold of us in general, and we will help you do that. It'll be $30 for it and the muling cost to get it from A to B, as it were. Yes. So. Yeah. And, and you, you know, you, you could be look, you can, cause you can look around their distributors or on their website and I think it'll tell you where, uh, if it's near you, but you know, I, in my looking in my area, it's so stupid. It's like, I, I can get, I can get limousine rye around me. I can't get death's door. I had, I had to go like three hours away to get death's door is r- ridiculous. And I saw all kinds of other places, but I also went to, um, I was in Minnesota and they had death's door but no limousine rye. It's freaking Minnesota right next door to, to Wisconsin. So yeah. whatever. I mean, you know, liquor stores and distributors, they you know, got odd choices. So if you can't get one or both of them or whatever, yeah, let us know soon so we can get those to you. Cause I, I think you're going to like Fred's cocktails. Yeah, Fred, Fred does a, he does a nice job. With it being <clears throat> July 30th, it's probably going to be probably around the 15th or so 15th 16th so i'm going to cut that off so that i can make sure that everyone gets what they need to to them through the muling process i think we should get a shirt I'm about respect the mule or something like that we need to come up with yeah something. yeah and watch out for the for the giveaway because we, we have, we'll be doing the giveaway for the uh for the iron root uh bottle of iron root and uh tasting glass yeah that's on aka the- etched glen cairn Ooh, special, special fancies. Yeah, right. it's more than... It is, it is. So, I think that's good. We will see everyone Monday evening, and hopefully Ben will be back, and then he can yes. join in on the fun. Um, but it's going to be an awesome way to end the holiday weekend with a couple more fireworks. So, stop in for that, because that's actually... I'm I'm pretty excited uh, about that show. It's just something... I, I, am, I am, too. He, so. You know, go, go back and watch yeah, the yeah. episodes of Victorian Barroom. Uh, Cause if I remember, I can't remember if it was necessarily on one of those, and other, but like he was talking about the difference between the, the, the spirits available then and now that they might've had something different about them or the ingredients were something different. And, and, and I, if I remember correctly, he was like, well, we use this because they had this, which had this in the spirit. So if you use this instead, it gets you closer to what they actually had back then. So it's not just, yeah. he's not just using, following a recipe. He's trying to make it as period perfect as, as he can, given what we have, Yeah, it was which I think is cool. It was a different spirit entirely. It's like, you wouldn't think this, but this is way more accurate to what this was at that time period. And yeah. I'm like, that's just neat to know. And you're like, okay, so this is, he's, he's working for the legitimate flavor profile that existed. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. So, awesome, awesome. Well, thank you, thank you, everyone in the chat for coming out. We really appreciate it. We will see you guys then. Mike, thank you for stopping out. Emily, thanks for keeping everyone in the chat in line. Um, and we'll see everyone then. Remember, it's not the size of the den that matters. Wait, that's right. It's not the size of the den that matters. It's not the size of the den. You love whiskey? How about, how about you just love whiskey? Yeah. How, how about, you know, it's a weekend update. So how about Pat, Ooh. you ignorant slut. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> shit. I can't remember how that goes. I feel like the worst loser for not remembering what the next couple lines are, but uh, yeah, I'll take that. I guess. <laughs> oh, I have a good idea, but we'll see you guys later. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> cheers. Okay. No, not cheers. Maybe now. Let's get into it. One, two, three. Let's get some more. Let me in. Let me some more.